Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where we talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related. So if that type of thing interests you, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you enjoy this video. So today's video is a stitch tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this stitch here. Now it's a very beautiful stitch. Um, it's, you know, would make great baby blankets or any type of blanket, actually scarves, tops. It's a solid stitch as you can see, but it's not a yarn eater. You know, be able to tell, uh, when I show you how to make the stitch that it's not a yarn eater, but it's still, it's still solid. You see, you can't really see through it. Um, so yeah, anything that, you know, it would be good for many, many things. And as you can see, it is the same on both sides. And the best part is it's a one row repeat and it works up really fast. So you guys want to go ahead and get started on it. There it is up close. It's got a little bit of a drop stitch there. They are kind of catty cornered from each other. Let's do it. I'll show you what yarn I used. So for that piece there that you saw, I don't have a label because this is what I have left. But <laughs> it's a scrap. It was just a scrap ball yarn this is red heart super saver ombre and the color uh true blue i think i think one of their blues but it's the bluey one not the teal one and it is a medium weight um uh, uh acrylic 100 percent acrylic yarn so that's what i use for the stitch tutorial but you can use any type of yarn that you like depending on what project that you're making and i also use the size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook so this stitch is done in a multiple of three plus two. So depending on what you're making, whether it be a scarf or a blanket, you need to chain in multiples of three, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you keep doing that until you get to your desired length or width. And once you meet that, you want to go ahead and add two more to your base chain. So a multiple of three plus two. And then we'll go ahead and we'll start row one. Now row one, we are going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So we never count this one that's on our hook. So there's number one and that's number two. Go ahead and single crochet into that stitch. And then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch of the chain. So row one is just one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of your row. All right, once you make it to the end of row one, we'll go ahead and then we'll start row two. So row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And that chain one does not count as anything. So we're gonna be working into this very first stitch right here. And we're going to work one single crochet into that stitch just like that and now we're going to start the repeat we are going to skip two stitches skip skip and in the next one we're going to work a single crochet and a half double crochet and a double crochet all into that same stitch so in that stitch, we have a single, half double, and double. And then we're going to repeat again by skipping two. Skip, skip. And then the next one, we're going to single, half double, and double. All into the same stitch. Repeat. Skip, skip. Skip your two. And in the next, single. half double and double and we're going to repeat this pattern of skipping two and then doing a single half double and double all into the next stitch until we get to the last three stitches of our row all right i'm coming to the end of row two and i have three stitches that remain i'm going to skip two and i'm going to put a single crochet into the last stitch and that will end row two now we can start row three which we will chain one and turn 
our work. Now row three is the repeat row. It's the row that we're going to keep repeating back and forth, back and forth until we get our project as big as we'd want it to be. So into this very first stitch here, we are going to do a single crochet and a half double crochet. And now we're going to do a double crochet, but we're going to drop down uh, to the previous row. So right here where we just did that last single crochet, see that? We're going to do a double into that spot. Just kind of pull up just a little bit and double crochet, just like that. Now we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and we'll always be working into the single crochet of the row. We're going to go into that single crochet and we're going to kind of repeat what we just did. We're going to do a single crochet in it, a half double crochet in it, and then we're going to drop down to where we did the single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet before. So you can see it right here. And that's where we're going to put our double crochet. So we're going to yarn over and go into that spot and do a double crochet. Just like that. And then we're going to repeat again by skipping two, skip, skip, and you'll end up right here in the single crochet from the previous row. Go into that and work a single crochet and a half double crochet. And then we're going to work our double crochet by dropping down right here to where we put our single half double before right here into that spot and do a double crochet and this is what we're going to repeat for row three until we get near the end of the row skip two skip skip and we single into that stitch half double into that stitch and then drop down right here the row below and do a double into that spot so I'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern until I make it to the end. All right, so I've made it to the end of row three and I just did my last double crochet here into this last spot. And what I'm going to do is end by putting a single crochet into the last stitch of our row. And that'll end row three and that will end the repeat row. So we just keep repeating row three back and forth back and forth so for row four let's just do again what we did on row three we're going to chain one and turn now into this very first stitch right here we're going to work a single crochet and a half double crochet and then we're going to drop down right here to where that wet that single crochet from the previous row was right here and that's where we're going to work our double so the double crochet just drops a row like that and we're going to repeat by skipping two skip skip and you can see we're working in a single crochet there we're going to work a single crochet and a half double into that stitch and then we're going to drop down and work our double crochet right here where we worked a single and the half double from the previous row so go ahead and yarn over and go into that spot there, draw up a loop, and do your double crochet. And repeat, skip two, skip, skip, and single in the next, and half double into the next. And then we're going to drop down and double crochet right there into that spot where we put the single and the half double on the previous row. just like that. So we're just repeating what we did on row three. And we're just going to repeat it until we get to the end of the row. Like I said, it works up very quickly, very easily.
And when you make it to the end here, let me do my last one. We end by putting a single crochet into the top of the last stitch. Just like that. That's it. Just keep repeating. See how they're starting to crisscross? And after a few repeats, it will start to look like this, which is a beautiful, beautiful piece of fabric. You know, that right there would make a pretty nice, if I went a little bit longer, pretty nice placement. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful stitch. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I hope you were able to follow along. If you make anything out of this, scarf, blanket, top, anything, I'd really love to see a picture. You can show me a picture of my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll link to that below in the description box. Um... And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials, any of my yarn content. And there is a link below that will take you to a playlist of well over a thousand crochet tutorials that I already have on my channel. All free for you to enjoy. So until next time, have a good day. Bye guys!